So what I'd like to show here is how to do a topo and compare that to a finished grade design or a 3D model that you have loaded in SiteWorks. So what you want to do first is go up to the home button, go to project setup, change project, and we're going to make a new work order for this. So I'm in my general stakeout work order, but I, I need to segregate this data. So I'm going to make a new work order and I'm just going to call this um, today's date 2020-01-23 and we'll just call this parking parking lot topo hit finish and we're going to use the finished design as our as our design that we're going to compare to so that's going to be your finished model. Whatever you have in there is the design that you want to compare this topo to is going to be the one you want to choose there. So hit accept. It's going to load up our files. And we're going to need to change our measure type first. So it's, it's going to default to measuring points, but we want to measure a volume boundary to start. So we want to come in here to our measure type and go to new line. And you could leave this line name default if you want. You can change it if you like to. Um, but the key is to go down here to volume boundary and choose that as your start point. And just go into the parking lot area if you want to topo this parking lot. Just go in here and just get to the corners of each spot here and just take some shots wherever you want to define that outer boundary where you want the quantity from. So you can go around make it a square you could go around the corner here but if I want to just make it in this general area here I can take this last shot if I go to the left here and this is a closed boundary so click on that and it'll auto close back to your first point so I have my my outer um, volume boundary is created now I can add some more points in between if there's some ups and downs in there so go to your measure type and we could do another new line. In this case, we want to just do a break line. So only one volume boundary and then switch to break lines. And that'll still create some surface points in here for you. So you can just take a couple break lines here. We can do one across here like that. And if we want to make another new one, just do a, another new line. And you can come over here and take another shot on this break line. And then if you need to add some points, go back to the measure type, change your measure type to point, and then make sure you set it to, you can change the point name if you need to, just make sure you have surface points chosen, and then show every time. I'm gonna say no, I'm just gonna let the program auto create my point names, so I don't need that to pop up every time, you just hit accept, and then just walk around to wherever the shots need to be taken, and then just take your shots. And just make sure any of the shots stay inside that volume boundary that you created. So once you get all your shots taken, you're going to go back up to the home menu, go down to Kogo, and then review and edit data. And it's going to auto populate to the compute volume routine. So it's going to want to select the bound, it want you to select the boundary. So you can see here that it's got a darkened in line there where we took our volume boundary. So click on that. It's going to highlight it. We're going to switch from a stockpile to measured to design. So choose measured to design. And then you also have this second option to put in a vertical offset. So this would be if you if you have blacktop in the parking lot, we want to get the, the topo to the subgrade. So we want to change this to vertical offset below. And then we want to put in our subgrade number. So in this case, I have 18 inches. I got 12 inches of blacktop, let's say, and maybe six inches of stone. So I'm going to put in a minus of uh, 1.5 feet. So change it to below and put in your, your number that you want to target and then hit OK or accept. And it's going to give us the cubic yardage compared to that subgrade that we, we have. So it's telling me that I have a fill. So that means I'm low, so I still have to fill 1,497 cubic yards to get to my uh, subgrade. 
So you can save this to the work order. So we can just call this uh, parking lot if you want to. Up here, uh, we'll just change this to parking lot topo. And just hit accept. And we've saved that to the work order. So we can close out of the Kogo. And that's how you compare a topo to your finished grade model using SiteWorks.